Rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pad to the pinky. And the thumb. I went too far, I think. And then down to the wrist. And across the knuckles. And let's keep the ball right there in the palm. Interlace the fingers and squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. And squeeze. Release, go around the back. Switch. 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 And switch. Switch one more time. And then we go between the legs, hinging at the waist. Switch, 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 and pull on the floor, assess how the feet feel, step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. We'll bring it up to the knuckles and press on each. Roll across the knuckles. And then today we'll go to the back of the heel, pivot on the toes and roll it across the back of the heel. Or the top of the heel, I should say, actually. And then press down just below the first knuckle. And then at the side of the top of the heel. And over in the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down each bone from the knuckle to the top of the heel. And then swivel it all around. Three, two, one, release, reassess, go to the other foot three times. Knuckles. Slide across. Back of the heel. The three spots underneath the first knuckle, side of the top of the heel, pressing at the fifth metatarsal, rolling down the bones. And scribbling. Three, two, one, release, get the ball out of the way, reassess how the feet feel, 
And let's do some good mornings. We're going to hinge at the waist, come up, and go back down, hinging 12 times altogether. And then shake the tree. Three, two, one, uh, center. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And then center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step to one side, gathering starlight. Someone is at the front door. And center. Same thing in the other direction. Center. We're going to step 16 times. And then we're going to bring the elbow towards the opposite knee. Don't have to touch it. Just go as far as you safely can. We're going to do this eight times in each direction. It's four, five, six, seven, eight. And then either walk, march, or jog. Okay, so we'll do some Zach Bush exercises with or without weights or bottles or cans or anything in your hands if you want or not. Rapid squats are involved, so wouldn't do those. Get the heart rate going here. You can keep doing what you're doing, of course. I think I will sprint. 
could do side jacks, you could do hops. We'll just keep on. We're going to get going in five. Rolling in the F class. Four, three, two, one, two. Release the fingers, raise the hands up, come up on your toes if you can, reach up, come back down and back if you can do, no extensions. Come back to center, bend to one side. And the other. Center. Lower your hands, press out of the chest. Bring your hands down, interlace the fingers behind the back and raise them up. Go a little higher, come on down and shrug, roll back, roll forward. Extend the arms and rotate. Go in the other direction. One palm down, one palm up, flip flop. Bring one arm across the body, press in at the elbow. Then the other. First arm behind the back, press down and in. Then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Come on down and rotate the neck. Go the other direction. Nod. Go ear to shoulder. Bring your right hand up across 
your head, cup the left ear, tug the head and bring your chin facing up towards the ceiling. And then point your chin in towards your right arm. Come on back to center, do the same thing with the left arm over on the right ear. Chin looking up as you tug. And then coming down. Come back to center, tuck in your chin and peck like a pigeon. And then let's grab that stick. We'll bring it inside the arch, slide the hand on the same side down as we shift the weight to the other side. To Stretch the adductors. Bring the stick to the other side and stretch the other in the thigh. Come on up, bring the stick behind the first foot, which is cutting out. <coughs> And slide the hands down as you hinge at the waist. Come on up. Stretch the other hamstring. Coming up, uh, put the sole of the first foot against the stick to stretch the calf muscles. <clears throat> and then the other side, other foot. And come on back, we're going to do the toning bar routine, so we'll bring the stick behind the back, move it up and down, parallel to the spine. Then switch the position of the hands and continue. Come around, bring the stick above the head, go side to side. And then down below the waist. And then go to the side, one side. And then the other side. Then bring it out front and paddle the kayak. Reverse direction. Bring it up to your shoulders and do some bicep curls.
and hinge at the waist, drop the stick, keeping your spine neutral and just lift it up. And then hinge and bring your elbows up past your rib cage. Come on up. Stick is at shoulder height. Raise it up overhead. And then drop it below the waist and raise the elbows up to shoulder height. Hold it at the shoulders, flop the wrists. And push out. Bring the stick behind the back with the palms facing away from the body and lift the stick backwards. And switch to position of the palms so they're facing in and lift it backwards again. And stick up into the crook of the elbows and twist at the waist. And then bring it around front. Hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two. Feet are about hip width apart. We're going to lean towards the fifth metatarsal and back towards the first, keeping our toes scrunched into the ground. Just go back and forth. Three, two, one. And then lean back on that fifth metatarsal and hold it. Again, feet are squeezed into the ground, toes are. Just hold in that arch position for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's put the pole down. If you're going to use weights, or hold anything in your hand for the sack push, and again, you don't need to. Grab them. Four moves. The squat only go as low as feels comfortable for you. Raise around the clock, either outside or coming into the middle. I'm going to be alternating on those. And finally, a military press. We'll pick up speed on each of the three. <coughs> Um, repetitions, we're going to do 10 uh, um, on each. So we're going to start with the squats. One, two, three, four, five. And 10. Take a breath, and we're going to do some hand raises. Here we go. Ah, breath. 
around the clock. And that's ten. Breath. Raises. Presses, I should say. Nine and ten and down. Take a few breaths. We're going to start this time with raises and then we're going to do the squats. Ready? A little bit faster. And a breath. Squats. Breath. Around the clock, I'm going to go inside this time. Breath. And some presses. And come on down and take a few. This time we're going to move the squats into the third position. And we're going to go just a little bit faster. Starting now. And breath still. Around the clock. And some squats. And a breath. Last one. Ten presses. Ten. All right. Whew. Take a couple of recoup breaths. Today uh, we're going to do the coming home breath that uh, a number of uh, breath practitioners uh, talk about. Dan Brule calls the coming home breath. It's kind of like Anytime you want to bring yourself back to the present, and it's a very simple breath. It's just a deep inhale. Ah, that's it. But when you inhale, make sure you're getting three dimensions here. You want to get your belly expanded. You want to get the side of your ribs expanded. You want it to go up into your chest. Ah, just let it go. We'll do four more. Ah. 
together now that we're back in the present and cultivate chi making a chi ball. Center. Take two breaths. And let's open our hearts. <coughs> and then on this one, let's pause on this inhale, exhale, and send it out. And center to rest. You could even hear the damn brulee coming on breath from this. Ah. And bring down heavenly chi. down, gather it up. And... Ah. <laughs> All right. That was great. Thanks. You're very welcome, Nina. Good to see you. Have a good day. For anybody sticking around, we got some. Well, let's switch this camera here. Rolling. Um, you want to grab a ball? You want to grab a roller? I'll meet you on the floor. Well, we do some legs today. Switch that camera. And um, on this first one, we're going to start with the calves. Now, you could use a ball for this, or if it's too much, just use the roller. I'm going to start with the ball. Just move it around the calf. You could also have your other leg out, you don't have to have it tucked in a bit. And up and down, rolling it all around, kind of looking for that tender spot. If you're on the roller, if you want to increase the pressure, put your other leg on top of it. And roll back and forth. You could also go side to side. And if you find that tender spot, just hold the ball or the spot on the roller right there for, you know, 20 to 30 seconds, as I am doing. Let's turn this spot there. And again, if you want to increase the pressure, just cross your leg on it. Five, four, three, 
to one. And I'm going to go to the other leg and do the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the spot, in the hole. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. All right. We're going to do the quads. So, you want to take the roller, put it at the bottom of the quads there, and just roll back and forth. Again, you can cross one leg over to focus on the one leg. About an inch per second. If you find a particular kind of spot, just lean into it. And then go over to the other leg. And then focus on that one. There's a spot right there. It was on the other way. There's leaning into it. Moving down just a little. And coming up. Now, I'm going to make the, do the inner thigh here by putting the roller parallel to the spine, I guess, and next to it. And I'm going to roll back and forth on the inner thigh, the abductors. Right down to the top of the knee. Ah. They're often very tight. And again, if you find a particularly tender spot, just lean into it. to the other. One up and down, looking for that spot. And it found me. And right there, I'm going to hold. So good. And then finally, let's not neglect the hamstrings. So we'll come on to the back. Start just below the hips. Maybe come up on your elbows, roll back and forth. Put one leg on top of the other. And 
you know, if you find a particularly tight spot, just knead into it. You could also put the ball on that tight spot. Tolerate. And then switch them over to the other. And switch to the other. And these are good exercises to do. You can also come up on your palms. Um, both before and after you take a walk. Either way. Three, two, one. And come on up. See how that feels.